All right, guys, Coach Fred, Major Gains Fitness here. I am, for the next 12 weeks, going to do some sort of contest prep that includes all the things that you are told you cannot do during contest prep. One of the things I'm going to cover right off the bat is dairy during contest prep. Now, I think that's ridiculous. As we can see here, I'm going to have plain Greek yogurt. After I mix all this nasty shit up, 225 grams, one serving. Now I use plain, I don't like the taste of plain, however it is very versatile when it comes to mixing protein in it. Oh, come on. There we go. Also, this is my absolute favorite protein, second favorite, a lot. The banana cream one is unreal, but coconut will have to do. One scoop, it's like this absolute simplest breakfast you could possibly make. Oh shit, that happens to I'm assuming 99.9% .9 of the people that make this. Now, this is essentially going to be my breakfast right now. Now that tortilla is the biggest bulk of my fiber intake. As you can see, I don't know if you can see here, 26 grams of fiber. Usually for breakfast I'll have about one of those with 100 grams of raspberries, a banana, and that's about it. That's going to get me just over 30 grams of fiber, almost to my minimum intake. And I don't really care about fiber the rest of the day. I'm going to hit it eating two or three servings of fruits and veggies today. I'll have some fiber one cereal, maybe some oatmeal, and that'll work perfectly. Oh, and just to show you that I am actually doing flexible dieting during this prep and not using the term as a marketing scheme, we'll go ahead and look at my snack drawer. Now, me and my girl don't really play when it comes to snacks. Cheetos. Animal crackers, chips, Rice Krispie treats, donuts, chips, and dip. Go over here. Cupcakes, Eggo waffles, ice cream, chicken nuggets, my diet soda. That's about it in this world. All this stuff's pretty good. Also, something I'm going to be covering is drinking during prep because I do like to drink you know, two to three, you know, four to five times a week because I enjoy it. But that's my breakfast. Next, we're gonna go into a training video. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what, what I do, my push, pull legs, upper, lower program. I'm doing an upper day minus the deadlifts because I have a strain ligament in my heel. So I don't wanna put any pressure on that, but we're gonna go through my training. I'll talk you through what I do and how I do it. So here's my warm up. Generally, I do the 60s for about 20 reps then I'll move on to the 80s for about 20 reps just before I start getting to my workout as I feel this warms me up the best way I'm more so the quietest lifter in the gym Usually I'm not making a lot of noise before I start or hyping myself up unless I'm feeling my pre-workout, but here I'm doing the hundreds for my three by 10 on my upper body hypertrophy day. I might not do full reps a lot of times. However, this has seemed to build the best chest that I've ever had in my entire life to this point. I'm getting ready for incline. 3 by 10 also with the 90s. As you can see, I just tend to relax as much as possible for the lift. I don't want to waste my energy running and jumping around the gym before I lift something. Again, I might not be doing full range of motion like people think you should do, and they do think that rightly so. However, this is what works for me, and this is how I do it. Whenever I am doing barbell rows, I tend 
to lower the weight until my lats feel they start to disengage and I stay in that constant tension throughout my reps. Now I'm not completely parallel to the ground, but this is where I feel most comfortable and where I feel strongest. Again, with going all the way to the top of the lift where my lats just about disengage, staying in that constant range of motion, I practice that and all my back workouts so I can feel as if I'm targeting my lats most efficiently. Now this is my favorite arm workout for biceps. I feel I have a constant tension in it and during my upper body hypertrophy days I will mix this with a superset of tricep pull downs with the rope. Now, I'm supposed to only do two to three sets of 15 on this. So when I'm bulking, I'm doing my three sets. And generally when I'm cutting, I don't need as much volume. So I'm sticking to two sets of it. Now these side raises, the 15 rep days, I'll stick with the 40s and my 10 rep days I'll go up to the 55s. I superset this with chest flies which are not included in this video. However, my supersets are based solely on how much time I have and not because I feel they give me an advantage. <laughs> 